Hello YouTube. Um, today I thought I would show you how I make these little Polaroids that I use in my journal. Um, I got the idea from I think it's Ali Brown, um, and I followed her method, but I did it a little bit differently, I think. Um, I did do a screen recording on my phone, it's not brilliant and in the interest of full disclosure these didn't print out very well. The writing went a bit doolally but my printer's been giving me a lot of hell so that might be why. So I'm probably going to reprint these ones at a later date but I'm going to show you everything that I use and I'm going to try and show you how I do it on my phone as well. I use 7x5 glossy photo paper, this comes from Poundland. Okay, so for one pound you get 40 sheets and it's perfectly decent paper. There is nothing wrong with it. Okay, any faults from here on in are the fault of the operator, not the um, equipment. <laughs> so you pull out the sheet that you want. Hello, go on, how much film? So it's just white glossy paper. I use a regular desktop um, printer. It's a, hang on, I'll check. It's a HP DeskJet 3630, I think. I will link it down below so that you know which one I use. I paid about 20 to 30 pounds for this, I think, from Hewlett Packard themselves. Um, so yeah, you take your glossy photo paper, or you can use matte if you prefer, and you stick it in your loading tray and make sure it is all ready. Now you open your phone. You can see there's my phone, and you decide what photos you're going to use. Now I've already decided, and that's not the one that I want. And what I do is I tend to put them in my favourites folders. Okay. I quite often turn them into little Polaroids so that they actually have the little white border and I write a little caption on it. And I'm going to show you how I do that as well. Okay. So I come out of that and I open this program here. This is called Instance. A-I-N-S-T-A-N-T-S. -A -A -N -N I open that press the pictures, go down to my favourites and find a photo. I'm going to do the ones from Southampton. And it does it for you. OK, unfortunately, that is more of a landscape, so I'm not going to use that one. So go back in and find one that you like. Uh, it's just going to have to be that one because he looks so great in that. Right, so you find the one that you like. You position it in the red square. Okay. And then you, li you literally, you click done. And it will show you what you've got. Okay, you tap here to edit so that you can enter in your title and you can play with the, the colour of the font and all of that lot. Um, there are several different fonts in here. I like Indie Flower, I just like the way it comes out. You can choose what colour you want. Um, I use black, but there, I mean, there are, you know, there's quite a happy selection. And then you click done. Um, can do spaces so playing on a fire truck is what we're going to call it and then you click the little box with the inside arrow okay not the one going out because that's the share box it's the one in the bottom right hand corner it's a little box with an arrow pointing down into it you click that and it saves it to your photo roll OK, then what you do is I use this program here, which is called Scrapbook. I wonder if this would be any easier if I turn that off. 
Ready for the flare to settle. It's not really, is it? Come on. Do a bit of an angle, might make it a little bit easier. So I open this one here called Scrapbook. It's not because you can't see it. And then here where it says All Photos, I tap that. I scroll down to my favourites, which is where I keep the photos that I plan to print. just makes it easier for me to find them. Because what I do is I save up until I've got six photos. And then I print them all. I know I've just made a Polaroid, but I'm not actually going to use it. So you select the ones that you want. They go pink, and there's a little one down in the corner so that you know you've selected one of each. I then scroll until I find that one. It looks horizontal at the moment, the little thumbnails inside, but I'm going to change all that in a minute. Okay, so you click that one and it shows you what your photos look like. You can see there's a little board around each one. You can't really because my webcam is so crap, but there's a little board around each one. You can change all of this, okay? So you can go to borders. That one will take away the drop shadow that is underneath each photo. You just slide it down to zero. This one, the second one down, is the one that takes away the internal borders to give you your full-size photo. Now, all of these <clears throat> are nice landscape photos, <laughs> uh, but you can edit and choose each one. So press the tick. If you want to rotate them, if you want to move them slightly, you just tap on the photo. And then you can move it until you're happy with it. Yeah. And then you just tick when you are done. So that one, I want to move it up ever so slightly because there was a miserable woman standing behind us. If you press and hold, you can reorder the photo. Yeah. But I don't want to do that. I literally just want to move the photo within the frame. Fortunately, I can't edit her out. That's a bit of a shame. Never mind. And then you just press the tick. See, can I move that one over a little bit? So you press it too hard and it will actually lock you out. There you go. And that's it. Okay. You can add frames and all sorts, but that only adds a frame to your main picture because it now considers this one picture. Okay. You can add colour. I'll show you a look. You can you can add like flowers or you know love hearts or whatever you you can do all of that you know but I personally don't I don't because I'm going to cut them up so I don't really see the point um. But I will print it with that border so that you can see it. Just just for you guys, because I'm, I'm nice like that. Then when you're done, you click save. And that's saved in my photos now. So then you come out of this. And go to the HP printing app. It's just checking my printer. Right, that's all ready to go. There's a tick. All of this is lit up. So you click print photos, you go to my photos, then all photos, and it will be the last thing in here because you've literally just this minute saved it. <coughs> Excuse me. taking a while because I don't think I shut it down after the last lot I printed so let's start that again so print photos my photos all photos there you go and it is the la literally the last thing in here because I just made that one now as you can see it doesn't fit it has selected the correct photos down the bottom it says five, uh, I don't know how well you can see that, but it says five by seven inches, 13 by 18 centimetres and photo, but it doesn't fit. It's too big. So if you click that blue writing, it'll bring you up a load of extra things. Now you've got size, source, type, 
well the size is correct and the type is right because it's photo paper you can choose to have multiple copies you can change the color and the quality the paper which is what brings up this secondary menu but you want resize and move now you can move it to fit to page but it is still slightly too big okay and it is also the wrong way around so if you go to rotate and just rotate it one way then back to resize and move and then you can manually just bring it in a little bit you don't need to do it a lot but you don't want it going to the edges of the paper because it just won't it won't do it okay you can do it either way really you know but you do need to leave yourself a little bit of border i'm glad i left the red in now so you can see it a little bit of border at the edges of the pages now i'm going to show you what this looks like when it's printed all right i'm not hiding anything here so i really hope this works otherwise i'm going to look like a right muppet so that's what it looks like that's the edge of the paper there hang on and a darker picture the edge of the paper on the screen is there so it doesn't look like very much okay and when you're done you just hit print there goes my printer and you wait with bated breath now because i have screwed up printing these but i have had a bit of trouble with my printer it didn't want to connect to my phone and then it said it was a router problem and I rebooted my router and then finally it worked and I was like, oh my God. I don't know whether I had the paper not loaded in straight or what. I was just like, oh, it's a nightmare. The only issue I do have is that this paper is, is quite thick paper. It's more like cardstock. So, um, yeah. I would like to get some sticker paper but that's expensive this is a pound you know so i can live with the thickness in my journal look the app is happy you've given the option for there's a little green tick in this inner circle there and then you can press continue or home while i'm done so i can just come out of that now okay so let's have a look now see see how it's printed it's printed right up to that edge it has left me a little margin that edge but i should have had a margin both edges that's why you need to shrink your collage down slightly in the printer app otherwise it will spill over and you will lose part of your photo okay now you can stick that in as it is but it, it will take up in an o5 I mean, obviously, you'd cut the white bits off. I'll show you my scribbles that matter book rather than in my loose leaf planner. I'm boojoing without a boojo this year. Uh, check out my other videos. You'll see. Here's the scribbles that matter just to show you what you're looking at size wise. That's quite a lot of real estate in one go. Now, you might want to stagger these or overlay them or whatever. These are the little ones that I printed. You know, you might want to sort of stagger them over or, you know, whatever. I mean, these aren't all going to go on one page. Those are from one day out. So they they are going to go on, on one page. Um, so there you go. That's it. You can cut them out using a paper trimmer. Um, I'm not very good with a paper trimmer. It's a it's a learning curve. Um, so I tend to use scissors simply because then I can actually see 100% what I'm doing. But yeah, so I'll just turn the light back on and we'll glare ourselves out. So there you go. I might actually leave the border in. I don't know. You can't really tell it's hearts once I've cut it all up. So now I think I'll, I'll lose the border and then um we'll go from there all right so let's try <sighs> scary paper trimmer i've literally had this thing for like a day bought it when we went to southampton the other day see it never prints straight for me either which is an issue so 
I get it lined up and then the bottom's not straight. Hang on, see if I can show you. So if anybody knows what I'm doing wrong, I get it lined up on one way and then I'll show you how not straight this prints as well. And I'm putting my paper in straight and everything. But this is why I use scissors to cut it out. I didn't even have that line in properly, but there's like more of a gap at the top than there's the bottom. This is why I use scissors because printers don't always print straight. So yeah. So I'm gonna cut these out and I'm gonna stick them in my journal. Um I have done a screen recording on my phone of these and I'm gonna chuck it here in the end. The um the footage isn't that great because it's a screen recording off of an iPhone, it's not you know a brilliant camera. So hopefully you'll be able to see what I did as well if that was not clear enough what I just showed you okay thank you so much for watching um I hope you enjoyed this video please feel free to give me a thumbs up you know what you can give me a thumbs down this was dreadful but you know somebody asked how I do it and that's how I do it um if you hit the book you'll be subscribed if you hit the bell you'll be notified when I upload new content thanks so much for watching and I hope you had a giggle at my expense hang on for the screen recording it's coming up now So we're going from my home screen, I'm going to open the scrapbook app, I press grid down in the bottom left hand corner, I then go to the album that holds all of my photos, so that will be in my favourites, and just scroll down, there it is, and then I pick six photos. They go pink and there's a little one down in the bottom left hand corner of each highlighted photo so that I know I've only selected one of each. You can select more of, you know, you do six of the same photo if you want. Then I scroll across and in the middle there at the top, oh, went a little bit too far, it's now on the left. That's the one that I choose. I muck, bottom left is the aspect ratio and that's what I muck around with when I've got portrait photos rather than landscape ones. And I slide it to the left until I can see all of the outside of the photo. So it's just me getting it just right. Click the tick. I decided the top right photo needed to be a landscape one, so I rotated that. And then I just clicked save and it saved it to my camera roll. There you go. And then I come out of this. Sirens! I opened up, they come and take me away for this awful video. I opened up my HP um, app. There you go. It took a while. Because yeah, I was having trouble, and this was about five different recordings just to get this to you. I then opened my photos, all photos, and it is usually the last thing but I've done several pictures and stuff since then so there you go that's it there in the middle of my paper but it thinks this is a4 plain so I've got to wait for it to wake up and grab the correct paper size info and all that lot because the printer automatically senses it and then as you can see the picture is too large so I go into the settings and the second one from the right is the resize one and I just pinch my fingers together to get it to the right size. You can see how much space I've left there, look. That's quite a lot. And then that's it, you just click print and away you go. And that is basically exactly what I did. There's a few tweaks because it was portrait and not landscape, but you know, that's pretty much it. I hope that was helpful. I've actually made some portrait ones for you. They've all been turned into little Polaroids and saved in my favourites folder. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open scrapbook, hit grid, go down to my favourites there, okay, and then I just choose the ones that I want to do. So I want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Then I scroll along until I find the one I like. There's one there where it's quite even, and you could use that one. Okay, take out the borders, 
it is literally just finding the combination of things that work for you. Now the bottom one took away the drop shadow and that one took away the internal border around each photo. Click tick. Then you want to go over here to ratio. Okay. Click the ratio and then you slide the bar until you can see all of the surrounding part of the Polaroids. Okay. And then once you're happy with it, I mean, take it that little bit further and see whether it once you go a little bit too far, it will start to shrink from the top. So, yeah, once you've got it perfect, you click it and then save it. Then you come out of here, go into there. I haven't loaded any paper. I've got the paper out, but I didn't load it. So, load. load the paper up. Click print photos. My photos, all photos. Last thing in here, like I said. Okay, it is slightly too big for the paper. Okay, so click edit, resize and move, and then you just pinch the two fingers together until it is inside the borders. It's really hard to show you because you can't really see the Polaroid um, frame. The Polaroid frame is... about there okay so that's how much gap between the bottom of my actual picture and the edge of the paper display okay and I've got the same at the top <coughs> so you click done it's already chosen my correct size and the fact that it's post photo paper and then you click print and I will in the interest of fairness show you how this comes out these were portrait style pictures like this okay that I turned into little Polaroids so I'll show you how they come out these are the ones that I printed earlier on and that I've trimmed trimmed that one slightly smaller to cut out the miserable looking woman who was photo bombing us so I'm gonna spend a happy sort of five minutes stick it in my journal and what I do is in my journal I, I've got a template piece and I lee, I stick it in the page and then write around it so that I know how much space I need for the photo then when I've got six saved up I can go back print these and then go back through my journal and stick them in the relevant place I usually leave myself a little note like you know superheroes or you know Daryl Pauly or you know whatever I usually leave myself a wee note so that I know what photo I intended to put there on the specific day. Just wait for that to print up. And then I just stick them in. You can use glue, you can use uh, double-sided tape, you can use a Xyron stick and baker. I've done that as well. I'm not as keen on that one. Right, all printed up. And there you go. So that is the top of my Polaroid there. Okay. And just to tell you know just to be fully this is how much because i don't know how my room is all right that has given me you saw how much i shrunk it about three and a half millimeters on that side and about now i shrunk it evenly but this is just goes to show six millimeters on that side so i've got nine and a half mil around the outside okay i've got a little bit more obviously this side but just so you are aware, really, the best thing you can do is to play with the apps until you find the setting that goes click for you. Then that's the way to do it. I printed this photo up because I plan on putting this in my journal. Um, this is the famous VJ photo. The sailor kissed this young nurse and then she promptly slapped her on the face. But somebody took this photograph because it was so passionate. And this sailor died only very recently. Um... And it's a moment in history, so I'm going to put it in my journal. Okay, um, the one that didn't print up so well of these two, which was my son stripping his bed and dropping off it. The writing went a bit doolally on the first copy. It's come up lovely on the second copy. So I'm going to cut these up. I'm going to put them in my journal. 
there you go i hope this was helpful um i know i've already said goodbye and thanks and all that lot but yeah i really would appreciate a thumbs up and a comment i love the comments and i will respond to you if you have any questions i will try and help you as best i can but i literally wing this and it's taken me you know quite a while to figure out how to do this the real thing that bugs me is that you can't see in any of these apps actually what size your photo is going to print up at because they don't give you measurements so you're not going to know until you print it how big it is that's just the way it goes take it easy guys